ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Tiger situation, right? So as you guys all know, this weekend, Tiger was at Floyd Mayweather's birthday party. He was having a good old funky time. And then he got word that the repo men were out there to basically repossess his car. Because once again, Tiger, he loves to front on social media. He loves to front and act like he has it like that when he technically just does not, okay? So what happened is that the repo man came to go find Tiger in the party and let them know that they were repossessing his car. And so basically a big argument ensued. He was really pissed off. From what they're saying, they're saying that Tiger had a deal to pay $6,000 a month for a Maybach. And of course, like always, it's not the first time he fell behind on his payments. And so they came to repossess the luxury vehicle because you know what? When you lease a vehicle and you can't make the payments, that's what they do, okay? And you know, my thing is that the thing that really bothers me with this situation, we were talking about this on Instagram. Who the fuck keeps approving Tyga for damn lease loans and car financing? Like, this is ridiculous. This is literally like his sixth luxury car that has been repossessed. Tyga is living above his means. He has no damn money, okay? I'm not saying he's like, you know, regular folks poor, but he's not rich enough to be fronting and paying $6,000 a month for a damn Maybach. This is the same man who also couldn't afford his rent in LA and has been evicted numerous times. If this was a regular schmuggler person, you fuck up on a lease loan one time, you're not gonna get another lease loan, period. Especially when you're talking about luxury high-end cars. Like, regular people have to prove themselves. You have to prove your credit worthiness. But for some reason, Tiger doesn't have to do all that. He has a horrible track record. I wouldn't loan Tiger $10 because I know I'm not going to get that shit back, okay? But for some reason, these lease companies keep allowing him to get these high-end cars knowing he's not going to be able to pay the shit. And then my thing is, you know you owe this money. And y'all know I'm going to take this personal because I used to work in auto finance. I worked in auto finance at City Financial, honey, for like 10 damn years. So I know about financing. I know about repossession. I did everything from loan origination to repossession. The thing that always cracked me up about people is that you know you're behind, you know you haven't paid, but now you want to turn up on the repo men. They're just there to do their job. You know what I'm saying? Had you paid your bill, you would never get a visit from the repo man. I mean, that's just common sense and logic. That's like committing a crime and then getting upset when the police pull you over or getting upset when the police raid your house. How about you just don't commit crimes? It's that simple. Pay your bills. You'll never see the repo man. Trust me. Repo man has never came to my house and repossessed any of my damn cars, okay? So my thing is this. Tiger needs to stop fronting. And this is why I tell y'all, stop believing all the hype on social media. Stop getting enamored by the glitz and glamour of Instagram. Because a lot of these people are borrowing the shit. They're just doing it for a photo op. And a lot of them are literally living paycheck to paycheck. Or they're living off the strength of their name or their reputation on social media or on reality television, okay? That's literally what Tiger is living off of is just his name the money is not coming in like that his name carries a bit of weight because he was dating kylie but the 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 income to name ratio is just not damn there okay so i'm gonna need tiger to sit the hell down okay and reevaluate his life at this point in time you just need to take that six thousand a month that you're willing to pay for a maybach how about you just take that six thousand and go get a nice little two thousand hyundai and go sit your ass down in this hyundai and go drive down sunset boulevard and stay the hell up out the news you're always in the news for some type of repossession or damn (laughs) or some damn lease abandonment okay this entire situation is a hot damn mess but anyways outside of tyga getting basically kicked out the damn party this morning rapper kid boo decided that he needed some attention okay 
And so he just gets the ranting and raving on damn Instagram. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with Kid Boo? So basically, Kid Boo is claiming that Tyga said that he paid Black China to date him. And that Black China gets paid to date people to like basically raise their celebrity or some shit. I don't know, honey. Y'all know I don't be checking for Kid Boo. But y'all go ahead and check out this video of him ranting and raving, honey, like a pink-haired lunatic. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. She not my baby mama, nigga. But damn sure, bro, you ain't going to disrespect her, bro. She a mama at the end of the day. I'll slap the shit out of you, bro. The fact that you insinuating that she make money to be dating anybody, bro, mean that you think she's soliciting, bro. What the fuck you talking about, bro? Don't be disrespecting nobody mama like that, bro. I see you. I'll slap the fuck out of you, pussy-ass nigga. You a fucking cloud chasing old ass nigga with a receding hairline, bro. Go get your shit fixed, bitch ass nigga. And your bitch want my dick too. That nasty ass hoe. Nigga ain't got no Pornhub awards, bro. Talking about nigga. Bust down over here, nigga. Thought the other way. Bitch ass pussy ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. At me, bitch. Hey, check me out. Hold up. Ain't nobody pay shit neither, nigga. Ain't nobody need to pay to be on nobody. Stupid ass motherfucker. You, yo. Oh my God, bro. You got me so tight right now, bro. You so damn disrespectful, bro. I had enough of your shit, bro. Honestly, my nigga. I stood very quiet when you was talking shit about your little pussy-ass cat. And I stood quiet when you was talking shit about my pussy-ass ex. But, bro, stop your fucking shit, my nigga. You need to fucking stop right now, nigga. You fucking with the wrong one, bro. I be very friendly. I be very fucking friendly with a lot of niggas out here. But you, with your old ass, bro, disrespecting fucking females like that, bro. Don't do that, nigga insinuating that a bitch get paid to be dating people that mean you talk about she like a hoe or some prostitute and shit bro i ain't got look i'm over her i ain't got ain't no feelings about i'm not bitter about no shit like that bro i'm blind for love y'all know that shit y'all heard blind for love too i'm tight because bro, he over here clout chasing bro that's king and dream mama bro like one day those kids will grow up bro and look at you like you stupid bro you over here cloud chasing, talking shit, and throwing dirt on their mama name, my nigga. Don't do that shit, bro. Come on, my nigga. Have more sense than that, bro. You stupid as fuck, my nigga. All right, so you guys just watched that video, okay? So he did a lot of ranting and raving, but you know me, I'm a research queen. Because I'm like, okay, the last thing I really heard about Tyga, besides him getting thrown out of Florida Mayweather's party, was him and Soulja Boy beefing. They were kind of going back and forth. Hell, they've been beefing since January, okay? I don't miss shit. I looked high and I looked low. I looked all over social media, went through Instagram hashtags, went through Twitter hashtags. Honestly, y'all, I couldn't find one thing where Tyga ever tweeted or Instagrammed anything derogatory about Black China or said that Black China was being paid to, you know, date people. And let's keep it real. Even with their tumultuous relationship with him, you know, basically cheating on Black China and dating Kylie Jenner. I've never seen Tyga or Black China really go at each other on social media. I've never seen Tyga disrespect her. I mean, if you guys can find, you know, where he said this, please let me know because I searched all morning. I couldn't find it. So I've come to the conclusion that, you know what, Kid Boo, you're an attention whore, okay? You're a clout chaser, and you're just trying to find a way to attach yourself to these people. Period. Because I couldn't find anywhere where Tyga said that, you know, Black China was paid to date him. And I feel like he just wanted a reason to just, you know, basically go viral, to trend again. He's full of shit. If he's happy and he's moved on and he doesn't care, then move on with your life. And if you paid her to date you, then, you know, so what? You, you got on TMZ. Hell, I did a video about you and I never talk about you. So take it for what it's worth and move the hell on. At this point in time, you're just looking like a clout chaser, sir, and I cannot take you seriously. I'm going to need you to have a tall glass to so shut the fuck up, stop making up stories, stop ranting and raving just to go viral because I don't think that Tiger said that at all. I think you just said that just so you could go viral, just so once again your name can be attached to Tiger and Soldier Boy's beef with Black China. Point blank. These people do anything for clicks, views, and attention on social media. So, Kid Boo, go sit down. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Tyga and his damn, what, 115th repossession and him getting kicked out of Floyd Mayweather's party. How do you guys feel about this? And do you agree with me when I say that Tyga should not be allowed to lease a damn thing? Because if this was a regular person, them leasing options would have been dried up by now. Now, also, let me know what you guys feel about Kid Boo coming at Tiger's neck. Are you siding with Kid Boo? Like, okay, we understand you're taking him for Black China, which is cool. But again, like I said, I searched high and low, and I couldn't find where Tiger said this. So I think Kid Boo's full of shit, and he's a clout chaser. So y'all, let me know what you guys think about that as well. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment.